If you're a regular viewer on my channel, you'll know I'm always putting cats in my videos, and there's a simple reason for that. I think cats are just as much part of this city as temples, shopping malls, or traffic jams. Anyway, recently I celebrated 5,000 subscribers, so I thought, let's have a double celebration. One, to celebrate 5,000 and say thank you for all your support, and the other one to celebrate the feline-inspired antics of all the cats of Bangkok. This is the first cat I fed today in the park and earlier on she was obviously hungry and came over, had some food and even when she was eating she was still sort of cautious and backing away and she's full up, she's walked away here and she's chilling out but now I think um, if I get any closer she'll run away, won't you, eh? Are you going to say something for the camera? A lot of cats reject my advances usually once they've had something to eat, anyway. Hello? This one's uh, a bit uneasy, but uh, you can't really blame him. Is it a he? Is it a she? Don't know. So this is Felix, and he lives in the doorway at the back of Lumpini Hall. He's been running away from me, but when he saw me feed feeding the other cat there, He's interested now, so uh, here he is. Will he let me straight? Okay, all right. I won't force the issue. Um, otherwise, you could get a claw in the in the hand. I'll leave I'll leave him alone. Oi! Here we are. So this one has got really shiny fur, which means they're really healthy. But I don't think they really like it that much if you're stroking them when they're eating. This one is not hungry at all. Just chilled out, this one. Interesting colours, this cat. Come on, you want some? You're not hungry. Maybe this cat doesn't have a sense of smell. But she looks pregnant. A lot more kittens running around Lumpini Park as if there weren't enough already. <laughs> Well, it's been raining pretty relentlessly for the last hour and I'm afraid to say that that is going to be the end of proceedings in Lumpini Park. The cats are not going to come out, even if it stops raining because everywhere is wet.
Well, it's pretty bad weather here along the Klong San Seb Canal, and I almost gave up for the day. We got to Pratanam Pier right here, and he started meowing at me. He could smell the food in my bag, I think. And uh, now he's had his feet and he's chilling out. So hopefully a few more cats might come out now that they can smell the food. And we can uh, at least get some shooting done for today. I was going to sort of pack up and go home. Anyway, what is it I always say? Despite the weather, the show must go on. Thailand is the hub of street food worldwide. Everyone knows that. It's probably the tastiest you can get in all the world. And tourists will try it at least once if they come on holiday here. I eat it at least twice a week. I love it. Anyway, so there you are sitting at the side of the road and you notice a cat lurking under the table, looking up at you and you think alarm bells, right? This is bad hygiene practice. Well, maybe in Europe it's bad hygiene practice, but here in Thailand, things are a little bit different. Those cats are the pest control. People pay them protection money to get rid of the rats. They run the whole racket, basically. And rent -a kill when they try to get a foothold in Thailand, they were run out of town by the cat mafia. I'm in Siam Square and they're demolishing the old Scala Cinema right behind me here. And if you see my videos, you would get the impression that I was concerned about the history and the heritage being destroyed, but that was all a lie. My real concern is about the cats that are gonna be made homeless just because they wanna build a shopping mall here. I think it's disgraceful. Well, everyone knows the rumors about the ghost tower here in Saton, how it was haunted by evil spirits. Well, that's changed a little bit. And I'll tell you what happened. The cats moved into the soy. They ousted the evil spirits, those cats. They live in the ghost tower, they own it now. When that BBC TV program, Most Haunted, came to shoot here, they couldn't get in. The cats wouldn't let them in. And that is a story you don't read on the internet. I remember when I was a kid and my dad announced that we were going to get a couple of cats, I was terrified because I'd been sneaking to read his Fat Freddy's Cat and Fritz the Cat comics, so I had a pretty negative impression of how a cat would be at home. Anyway, he said, don't worry, I've house trained them, and when we got them, they were as good as gold, and I thought my dad was amazing.
A lot of people ask me, who is your favorite cat? Which is the best cat you ever met when you were making your videos? And that's a bit of a tough question. I've met so many. And with cats, you never quite know if you're accepted into their world because there's a saying, isn't there? They own you, you don't own them, we're their slaves. And I can see what people mean by that. The word on the grapevine here in Saladeng is that due to a lack of activity in Pat Pong in the last year or so, there's been a lot less garbage, which means a lot less rats, but a massive increase in the number of cats. So let's see for ourselves. Do you know what? Before I started recording this, she was really friendly and meowing. And as soon as I press record, she seems to be in a bad mood and probably knows I haven't got any food, so she's not going to play along. Oh, never mind. And the ginger kitten was playing with my shoelaces as well earlier on and uh, has disappeared. What's wrong with you, eh? Hmm? All right, I'll leave you alone. My mission to find feline activity in Pat Pong is taking me up to some parts of this area that have been pretty much left alone for the last 20 months or so. And it's dark, it's eerie, it's deathly still. If I don't find any more cats, I'll just tell you a ghost story instead. Mm -hmm. 